Hello guys and welcome in this new video in the game engine series. Hope you guys are doing good. The previous video was all about lighting. So we explained how we created spotlight, point light and directional light, how we manage the system, how the component is made and things like that. So if you are interested in that, there might be a link appearing somewhere in the top here or you can just go to the link in the description below. You will be able to see all the videos uh, to this game engine series and you will find whatever you're looking for there in today's video we're going to be focusing on the entity hierarchy but i just want to say this up front it's only the ui aspect of it we've already covered the back end aspect so there is a video i uploaded a couple of days ago about how i manage the transform from parent to children so you can see if i move the scene if i pick the scene entity here and move it you will see everything will move with it so there is a video explaining how i made that and you will find that it's, it's quite recent so you don't have to search much if you're interested in that but today we're only focusing on the ui aspect of the hierarchy how i made this using i'm GUI. but before we get into that i just want to make sure you guys know this there is a link in the description to my patreon page where you will find the source code of this game engine so if you are interested in that you might want to check that out and maybe yeah see if that's something for you so let's get started so now we're back into the code and i'm going to show you uh, basically how i build this because one thing i want to mention is that the node you're seeing right here is nothing but just a widget and it's actually a widget that i created as a class because i wanted to add more functionality so i created it as a class and you can see that here in the folder widget this is maybe if you if you've uh, downloaded the source code and you might want to you're wondering what i'm talking about right now you can see here in the widget we got this entity node it's actually what i got here the way i'm managing my nodes it's each node should know about its parent because if i want to destroy this node for example i want to be able to access the parent of that node and destroy it from the list of children you see of that node because you can see i also have the list of children here and that's actually why i need to keep track on the parent so this entity info component is nothing but just um, the component which stores the name of the entity and the state if it is enabled or not you can see that right here i'm using that because i want to be able to have the label with the name of the entity and that's also important in the case maybe i'm going to be changing the name of an entity then I should be able to change the name of the node as you can see here and you can see the id of this node is nothing but just the entity id so that's actually important because you want to make sure this id is unique if you have two nodes with the same id that could cause some problem here because you will select for example this guy here and another one will also be selected that's why we need to make sure that the id is unique and knowing that the ID, entity ID is always unique so we don't actually worry about that being unique or not that's why um, it should normally never happen that we have two nodes with the same ID so and we also have a pointer to the scene this is in the case we're actually changing some stuff but I'm actually working on removing that I'm gonna be using my event system to manage that because I don't want the scene to be inside of something like this I don't think it makes sense actually that's just too much for my scene and I don't want it to be inside here but I just want to show you how I made it right now so you guys can maybe have your own ideas and your own way of doing things so that's actually important so where should I start now the way I initialize it I just pass the entity ID as parameter I pass the pointer to the scene and you can see I also pass the parent yeah I'm gonna be getting to the um, hierarchy panel in just a moment to show you how I brought I brought all of this together to create my hierarchy now to show this node yeah I shouldn't be getting this each frame because getting a component actually costs some time uh, because you have to search and find a component to for the specific ID and doing that each frame is not the best thing to do so that's why I, I actually had a better way of doing it without having to do it each frame but yeah I'm just doing it like that because when I change the name of the entity you can see the reflection directly so if I change the name here you will see the reflection here directly because each frame I'm getting the component the this component here and setting the label of that 
of that uh, node that's why you can see the reflection directly but the way I'm actually planning to do this is when I change the name of an of an entity here I'm gonna post an event and the node here will be listening to that event and if the name has changed and it's gonna update the name without me having to get this component each frame because that's not good so that's that's not something you should be doing but that's just me yeah I just check if it's null and stuff like that and I have the flag here because I want to know if this uh, node here is currently selected as you can see when I click on the node you see the selection yeah and I'm also able to make a multiple selection by holding the control key I think that's just uh, standard stuff and the way I do that is by this selection mask it's just in a set of entities that I've defined and every time I when I hold the control key and click on the node here then it's gonna add it to that set I'm gonna show you where I've defined that set in just a moment so that's why here I check um, if you can see I pass the mask here the selection mask here as parameter every time I am rendering a node I need to pass that selection mask to check if it is actually inside I'm passing it here as a pointer I could have passed it as a cons reference it's not really important so I just check if it has that ID in it so and I have some things here uh, this is for um, uh, when I'm dragging or drag and drop you see um, yeah and it is quite important this is one of the things I struggle with um, why dragging if I start dragging this guy here it is really important for me to make sure it is not collapsed because if that's collapsed then I should be able to actually drag this guy into a child into its own child and that's dangerous because that's that's gonna bring like a confusion like the parent will become a child of a child that's crazy that's why when I drag this I make sure I just collapse it I close it so you cannot actually put this back into a child this step is really important if you don't do that then you're gonna run through some problems we check if the parent is open then we also set the child as open this is trivial stuff default open because I always want my um, my net to be default open so that's just something you shouldn't worry about so if if it is enabled this is just to set the color of the text you see if I hit this button here you can see this guy is no longer like uh, white the text color is no no longer white as the other this is just a way I'm actually uh, going to be telling the user that hey this entity is disabled and normally the way I'm planning to do this is when you disable it it should disappear on the scene so you shouldn't be able to see that entity I should take it out of all the systems and so if we enable it back then all the system are gonna be updating it again but now it's just UI based but I did had something like that to manage that but yeah I remove it and I'm gonna get back to that later so that's this um, just to set the color if it, if it is not enabled then we set the color to gray and I basically push the ID of this node so since it is unique I don't worry about having to fight against anything or something like that so everything done in here are gonna is gonna be unique because I have this ID pushed here and I pop it right here so you can see I check if this node is currently opened then I render the children if not then nothing is gonna happen reset children here is it so I simply go in the scene and I get the children of the current entity I mean this nerd right here which is nothing but just an entity I get all the children and I add them to this guy and you can see I, I set the reset children to false so I can know but again I'm gonna be changing this and making this event driven I don't want to be checking this if each frame I know it doesn't cost much it's a UI no one cares about that to be honest because um, when you will export your game you're not gonna be shipping this with the game but this is basically how I render uh, this node but how I manage the drag and drop so if I go to on drag here I am going to actually support the drag and drop so it's not something you have to think about yourself you just have to call this function here right after uh, you've uh, you've created your UI or your widget so you can see I have this begin drag source which I've called here so you see I have my tree node here and I call the function here which means if I drag this item here that's what this function is basically gonna be doing and then uh, you set like the name of the drag event because sometimes you don't want um, 
anyone to accept this kind of drug you see when i go here if i drag this nothing should happen you see sh nothing should happen but if i go here you will see there is this highlight coming because the id of the drug is defined and it actually access that by checking if this name is the same as the one i dragged and you see the drop also has the same type here when you drop and uh, a node and you can see uh, i can set the preview of the dragging so when i'm dragging you can see the entity name appears there that's actually important to know which one you are currently dragging so that's why i set the preview and then yeah we have the end and we set the is drag to true and yeah down here we have the drop so if we drop a node to this current node what should happen we basically have to go and cast the type of the node so we're casting here to an entity node we set the parent of that new node you see we have this entity id to set the parent of an entity we simply take the entity id and we set the id of the parent and here we have we set the reset children of the parent to true because we've added this guy here to the children you see so that's basically how i'm managing i'm managing this we have right click and left click mouse this is just to uh, have this pop up when i click right so i can destroy or add a new entity there so but i think that's straightforward i think that's something you should be able to do you just have a begin pop up when you click right and that's it so now let me go to the hierarchy panel i don't want to make this video too long you can see in the hierarchy panel i have this root node i call it scene node basically the root node which is uh nothing but just the one on top here yeah it is important because it's gonna be the one storing all the others entities all the other nodes so you have to define that somehow and uh, to always keep track on the selected entity or the selected node i have this guy here which will be a pointer to the currently selected entity or selected node so when you click on an entity here there is an event posted so i post an event you can see when i click it even change here on the ui and what basically happened is i'm posting an event called entity selected event so when i post this event then i go in here i get the id of that entity selected and i want to make sure i add that to the list of the selection mask you remember i spoke about this selection mask which actually stores the id of the nodes that are selected since the id of the node is the same thing as the id of the entity just adding it in here will make sure that when we're rendering the node we will check here if that id is actually in the mask then we'll know the entity is selected that's why you can see the reflection when i click here on something you see the reflection here on the side that's because we're actually taking that id and that id is basically the same thing as the node id and down here is where I handle the control key so when you hold the control key you can simply insert every time you insert but if you're not holding the control key you want to clear and then insert the entity id that's how i handle the selection here i have the init this is where i actually initialize the the hierarchy and uh, yeah i just register these functions here the node selected and the uh, entity selected and here you can see i create my root node I pass the scene root entity so the scene I get the root entity of the scene and I pass the pointer to the scene and it has no parent this is the only entity that has no parent and that's actually really important because yeah the scene is the, the root so it has no parent that's why we have the, the null pointer here and having this when you when I'm constructing this with this if I go here I can show you how this basically works so i simply have reset children so if it has parents so we want to reset children whatever but basically what we're doing here while initializing this is we're getting all the children's we get the entity and get all the children's of that and put it in here now um we do that for each node because you can see when we say add child here the add child it's basically going to create another entity node and pass this parameter this is actually important because we want, to, we want it to be recursive so for each entity we want to make sure we call back you know you call, we call back for each child for each child of that entity and create nodes for that and also check the children of that child entity and so go on so that's the reason why we have this add here which is basically going to be creating every time a new 
entity node and you can see creating that meme get the children and do that and that's actually basically how i manage this i hope this kind of give you like an overview of how these things basically works keep in mind that you can get the source code of this uh, game engine in the description below so if you're interested in that just go on my patreon page and you'll be able to get that thank you guys for watching see you in the next video ciao Shit, I can go.